Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. DJI refutes fake simulations. UAVOS and Stratodynamics Aviation finalizing balloon launched unmanned glider. And former AMA Executive Director Dave Matthewson goes west. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne and Man Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Do not take off DJI with bogus information. DJI has demanded the University of Dayton Research Institute withdraw a misleading video and blog post, which claimed to depict a collision between a DJI Phantom II drone and the wing of a small airplane. DJI notes that UDRI staged this video to create a scenario inconceivable in real life at a higher speed than the combined maximum speed of the drone and airplane, which is also faster than the FAA testing guidelines. UDRI has not disclosed its testing methodology or the resulting data, and while it acknowledged that a similar test with a simulated bird caused more apparent damage, it has only promoted the video showing damage from a DJI drone. In a letter to the lead researcher involved in the video, DJI's Vice President of Policy and Legal Affairs said UDRI recklessly created and promoted a video that falsely claims to depict a dangerous condition posed by one of our products. Your public comments deliberately present an entirely improbable, if not impossible, event as a commonplace risk routinely faced by airplane pilots. In the next Sudman Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. Flight Safety International is now offering training for the Part 107 Remote Pilots License written test. This e-learning course is designed to help those who seek to obtain an FAA Commercial Remote Pilots License to be fully prepared for the exam. Our comprehensive Part 107 Remote Pilot's License written test is the first of our series of remote pilot ground and flight training courses designed to help UAS operators achieve the highest levels of safety and proficiency, said Ray Johns, Executive Vice President. Global UAV and Plank Aero Systems have successfully performed a fully autonomous landing and takeoff from a moving off-road vehicle, with one of Global UAV's research and development UAVs from Novarial Robotics Incorporated. The precision landing and takeoffs are made possible by integration of precision flight control software technology from Plank. The software will enable the Procyon 800E UAV to autonomously take off and land from moving vehicles and marine vessels of various sizes. Fox Fury Lighting Solutions has announced a new rechargeable quick swap power pack with strobe for the Rugo drone and camera light. This new power pack is most useful for drone night operations as it fulfills the FAA FAR 107.29 requirements for dust dawn and night flights. The Rugo is a lighting tool that is primarily used for drones. PAEISR has signed a cooperative agreement with NASA to conduct a demonstration in the National Airspace System in 2020 and work toward full integration of unmanned aerial systems into the NAS. NASA Systems Integration and Operationalization Demo Program is a great opportunity to validate integration of larger UAS into the NAS, said Beth Beach, Vice President of Business Development. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. UAVOS Incorporated, along with Strato Dynamics Aviation Incorporated, is finalizing manufacturing of Hydron, a stratospheric aircraft. Designed to collect high-altitude atmospheric data, the balloon-launched unmanned glider is capable of autonomous and soaring flight modes. Next month, the Hydron is expected to reach altitudes up to 82,000 feet. 
with a wingspan of 3.5 meters and capable of carrying a payload of up to 1.5 kilograms, the Hydron is launched to the stratosphere via a helium-filled balloon. Once launched, data is transmitted in real time to a ground station using the autopilot and integrated atmospheric measurement system. Once the aircraft reaches the desired altitude or as directed by an operator on the ground, the hydron is released from the balloon and glides back to a pre-specified landing site. The landing of the hydron is fully automatic, allowing the autopilot to select a pre-specified landing site. The telemetry system and backup satellite link maintain hydron communication to the ground station. Additionally, emergency flight modes ensure flight safety. UAVOS says that currently atmospheric measurement equipment is also lifted to high altitudes by balloons. But once the balloon bursts, the equipment descends quickly by parachute and drifts uncontrolled. One of the true leaders in the personal drone community and the recently retired executive director of the Academy of Model Aeronautics, Dave Mathewson, has gone west. Among a lifetime of accomplishment, Dave served as the 23rd president of the AMA from 2008 to 2011 and became its executive director in 2011, serving in that post until earlier this year when he retired. Dave's interest in model aircraft began at an early age. He flew his first RC model aircraft with his father when he was just eight years old, leading to his interest in becoming a full-scale pilot in his career in science and technology. Dave received the AMA Exemplary Award in 2003, the AMA Distinguished Service Award in 2006, the AMA Fellowship Award in 2009, and was inducted into the AMA Model Aviation Hall of Fame in 2011. Dave ran AMA during a portion of the turbulent ascendancy of the hobby job movement and worked tirelessly with the FAA, AUVSI, and other entities to make sure that the nascent hobby UAV movement was properly represented with passion, expertise, and insight. The ANN and Airborne Unmanned crew loved working with Dave, valued his friendship greatly, and appreciated his vision and commitment to all aspects of aviation. He will be greatly missed. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our Airborne Unlimited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-use.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.